going into algebra 2 and you forgot your rules of exponents, what are you doing? Here's the power rule of exponents explained in just 20 seconds. Two reason number two and exponent two a power multiply the exponents that is the Algebra 2, I'm going to help you get ahead in less than 20 seconds. Today's lesson, polynomials. What is a polynomial? It's an expression of more than two algebraic terms. They can have constants, variables, and exponents that can be combined with all your operators. If you're going into Algebra 2, here's how you're going to get ahead in less than 20 seconds. Today's lesson, imaginary numbers. Imaginary units are represented as i, i is the square root of minus 1, i1 is i, i2 is minus 1, and i3 is minus i, and i4 is 1. Order of operations are all the same, combine like terms to play the game. If you're going into Algebra 2, here's how to find the end behavior of a graph in less than 10 seconds. See where the right side of the graph is reaching, then observe the left. Both sides put together is the end behavior of your graph. If you're taking Algebra 2, here's how you're going to get ahead in less than 20 seconds. Today's lesson, logarithms. What is a logarithm? It's the inverse of an exponential function. If b to the power of c is a... The log is log b of a equals c. If you're going into Algebra 2 and you forgot exponential functions, what are you doing? Here's the parent function explained in less than 20 seconds. The parent function is a raised to x is greater than 0 but not 1. The parent function never reaches 0 because if x is negative, we we're going to teach you about horizontal, vertical, and slant asymptotes in 50 seconds. Let's start the timer. Erase them, here's what you should know. To be sure of a vertical asymptote, factor in, cancel out holes. If you have a variable on the bottom, set it to zero, you have your answer. To find horizontal asymptotes, Compare the exponents of the top and the bottom leading coefficients. If the exponents are equal, the asymptote is the ratio of the leading coefficients. If the bottom has a greater exponent, the asymptote is always zero. If the top just happens to be greater, divide top by bottom to find your slant asymptote. If you're going into algebra and you have no idea how to evaluate a piecewise function, here's how to do it in just 15 seconds. Let's say you need to find a y for an x. You see which piece has that x in its domain. You plug in that x into the function and get the y. And these y values make up the range. If you're going into algebra 2 and you forgot the axis of symmetry of a parabola, here's a quick 19 second review. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line that splits the graph in half. The axis of symmetry is written as x equals the x coordinate of the vertex. Use this song to find the sum of an arithmetic sequence in just six seconds. You add a one and a n and then multiply by n then divide by two. Use this song to never forget how to find the sum of a geometric series. If the common ratio is less than 1, subtract it from 1, add an A on top, and you're done. If you're going into Algebra 2, here's how you're going to get ahead in less than 20 seconds. Today's topic, exact ratios. 90 degree angle sine is 1, cosine is 0, 30 degree angle sine is 1 half, cos is root 3 by 2, 60 is the opposite root 3 by 2, and then 1 half, 45 finally has root 2 by 2, root 2 by 2. Here's one trig identity that you should never forget. Pythagorean identities are fun, sine squared x plus cos squared x equals 1.